Hi there! In this video, we're going to cover how Datasor integrates directly with NVIDIA's NEMO Toolkit to easily transform raw data into a fully-fledged conversational model. Before we jump into the details, we'd like to shed more light on the role that data labeling plays in building a natural language processing model, or NLP for short. Data labeling has an important place in NLP. A lot of companies capture raw data, whether it's from customers, internal documents, or script online. However, in recent years, we've seen companies want to take the next step and use that data to train powerful NLP models to automate certain tasks. In order to use this raw data, you have to label it first so that the NLP model can learn from these labels. For example, you can teach the model that Starbucks is the name of a popular coffee chain and London commonly refers to a location. Currently, many teams begin labeling by using basic Excel or Google spreadsheets because they're already familiar with the interface. However, these one-size-fits-all tools quickly hit hard limitations. Some types of labeling, such as dependency parsing, are simply not viable using spreadsheets alone. Moreover, there are many ways in which these spreadsheets are simply not optimized for larger labeling efforts. Basic tools are difficult to read, prone to typos and formatting errors, and it can be challenging to start managing teams and the progress of multiple projects. We've built Datasor as a highly optimized tool to handle the task of text labeling. We designed Datasor from the ground up to be intuitive and easy to use, while also supporting a fully customizable interface and an API for power users. It supports basic NLP labeling tasks such as named entity recognition and text classification, all the way through advanced NLP tasks such as dependency parsing and co-reference resolution. In addition to our interface, we have built-in support for teams of labelers. You can create and assign projects to different team members, track progress, and review the work once it's complete. All of this lays the groundwork for a direct integration with NVIDIA's NEMO Toolkit. We're going to build a project in Datasor and import a file. Our project creation flow has three basic steps, adding data, previewing data, and setting up the labeling tasks. Here's a basic news article file. Click Next and we'll be directed to step two. We can preview the data at this step and confirm it looks the way we expect. On the third step, we can choose whether we want to label individual tokens for entity recognition or apply classifications to the text. For this example, we will be labeling some basic entities, people, locations, and organizations. Therefore, we can simply create a few labels in this area. And now we launch the project. After clicking the Launch Project button, you will be taken to a newly created project. In token-based labeling, the labeling process can be done by labeling tokens or spans of tokens. You can simply click on your desired tokens, and the label box will appear when you click. You can also click manually on the labels, or use the corresponding keyboard shortcuts by typing 1, 2, 3, or 4. Much of the labeling will be done in the primary interface. However, if you take a look at the right side here, you can view our Datasor extensions. In the Labels extension, you'll be able to add or remove labels as necessary. The Dashboard extension is also handy and helps track your progress in the document. When we're done labeling, we'll go ahead and export the file. Projects can be exported by clicking on the File menu and clicking on Export. You can rename the files and choose the format that best suits your needs. For this project, I will choose conll underscore 2003. This format integrates directly with Nemo. And with that, we've got our labeling file. Let's start training using Nemo. To save ourselves some time, we've already set all the dependencies. So we'll begin the training from here, download and pre-process data. We'll upload the exported file here. Our named entity recognition model is comprised of the pre-trained BERT model followed by a token classification layer. The model is defined in a config file which declares multiple important sections. They are the model and trainer. We're going to set up data within the config. 
The config file contains dictionaries called dataset, train underscore ds, and validation underscore ds. These are configurations used to set up the dataset and data loaders of the corresponding configuration. Okay, let's run the queries here. We are using a subset of the dev set, but it could be any text file as long as it follows the data format described above. All right, we finished training an NER model using Datasor and Nemo together. As always, we could improve the model's accuracy by providing more labels. You can also train using actual data sets here by watching this video and following the steps in the description box below. Happy training.